Hi guys, this is a video to give an overview of the AUX Curve Editor. Uh, just describe what it does and how to use it. So it's basically a, uh, an editor to help you design um, alien waves or alien formations uh, for use in developing games of that sort uh, using the AUX Portable Game Engine. So if you're looking to use that framework and to design a game, uh, like Galaga or Raiden, that kind of thing, and you need alien waves, then uh, this tool will help you create those curves. So when you start the application, you'll get a, a, a generic curve on the screen, which you can either manipulate or get rid of. Um, and you can drag points around the curve, just like in any application like Inkscape, that sort of thing. Um, you can control the curvature with the control points. You can delete a, a section of the curve by highlighting it in yellow and then pressing the Del key. And you can add curves by selecting either the start or end, holding in control and clicking the left mouse button. That gives you a new curve. You can also do it on this end as well. You can translate your view by holding the middle mouse button moving it along that helps you to see parts of the screen that you can't quite get to and we'll just get rid of this particular one we'll just work with three points for the moment um, one of the handy features of this editor is the ability to preview an actual um, alien wave or formation along the curve which you can do by pressing the O key that starts off a, um, a wave along the curve. Now you can manipulate this in real time just by dragging the points around. You can also snap points to the screen by holding shift and pressing S. Now the the wave there is a little bit slow so we can increase the speed of that by pressing the right cursor key. I'll just get that looking a little bit better and you also notice that they are fairly well bunched together. You can spread them out a little bit further, um, or you can decrease that spacing using the square bracket keys. So I'll just increase that, and that looks a little bit better. The green and red line, these represent origin zero, and you'll want your curves to be uh, relative generally to zero so that you can use your curves anywhere in your game. So it's a good idea to start your first point down onto zero. Okay. Now this is a bit of a funny thing at the end here, so we need to correct that by bringing that control point back around here. And if we if we pull it very close to the point like that, they'll decelerate. If we pull it back, they'll accelerate to the out. So just get it so that it's fairly even. There we go. Okay. So that's not a bad start. And we can now save that uh, curve to disk so it can be reused later. And that's with uh, Control S. Okay, so we've had a, a, um, a file here before called Test. We'll just save over the top of that. We can also load in curves other curves with a control O and I'll select this one that I just called rough sign okay we'll just zoom out a little bit to be able to see that you can zoom in and out with the A and Z keys or you can roll your mouse backwards and forwards turn back on. Oh, and you can press the one key just to reset the zoom back to 100%. Okay. Now, you might be in a position where you didn't like the position of the curve um, and you want to move the curve as a whole. You can do that by pressing the G key. That'll highlight the whole curve and then you can just drag the position with the mouse. So I could place the middle point into the origin if that's what I was after without having to drag the individual points along and you would obviously, you wouldn't get it 100% right on every point and 
you on your curve so if you don't want that um, I might just put that back to where I had it the other thing too so you might have a formation that, like this where it goes off to the right but you might want to have the opposite formation where they also can come off to the left depending on what your game is doing you can just press the X key to mirror them off to the left like that in the same way you can press the Y key to flip them on the Y and then back to X again also Y on there so you can get all your different combinations without destroying the curve and get perfect um, XY mirroring of, of your curve um, to get help with the editor you can press the F1 key at any time and that tells you what's available and what you can do um, and I think we've pretty much covered everything there the only thing that we haven't done is that you can also pause the curve at any any time and again it's just like when they're traveling it's all editable in real time so you can manipulate the curve and get an idea of what they will do at any particular time so you can get a bit of an idea of how your acceleration or deceleration might go um, and so forth and lastly you've got your, your x and y points that give you a bit of a, a, if you want if you're looking for absolute accuracy in working out where your points are if that's imp important to you and your game then then that's available to you uh, and that's it thanks for watching i hope you enjoy using the editor okay